Welcome to our introduction to Windows XP. In this video, we'll look at creating shortcuts. Now here's one last way to add shortcuts to the desktop, which I showed you in a previous video. A slightly different way is as follows. Anywhere on the desktop, or rather any blank area on the desktop, because obviously you don't want to right-click on an icon, because that brings up a completely separate menu. You want to right-click on an area of the desktop where there's nothing, and of course, in my example, this entire area here is effectively an empty area. Just for your own curiosity, this will be covered later, but I did this, this selection, by left-clicking, holding, and dragging. That's called a selection box or a selection area. For example, if I left-click, hold, and drag, I can select multiple icons, as you can see, at the same time. But that's a side issue for this video. So let me left-click to deselect these, left-click to deselect the icons, right-click anywhere here in the blank area, and you see the option is New, and a submenu appears with many options. You can create a new folder if you so desire. I won't cover that now, but you can create a new folder or you can create a shortcut. You can directly create a new document of different types, a Microsoft Word document. Of course, this is only if you have Microsoft Word installed on your computer. If you don't have Microsoft Word, you won't see this option. You can create a new bitmap image. Okay, this is a side issue because here you aren't creating shortcuts, you're actually creating new documents or files. So let's ignore this part of the menu for now. We want to create new shortcuts. So left click, OK, and there is the Create Shortcut box. If I left click it here and left click, hold, and drag it down here, you can see that there's our new icon. OK, type the location of the item. So let's say you want to create a shortcut to Yahoo. You would type in http colon forward slash forward slash www.yahoo.com and then you'd click Next. Okay, what's the name of the shortcut? You could select whatever you like. Go to Yahoo, for instance, and finish. And there's the shortcut. The little graphic it gives you may be different on your computer depending on which is your default web browser. My default browser is Mozilla Firefox, so this is a little Mozilla icon for the shortcut. If your web browser was Internet Explorer, you would have an Internet Explorer icon like this, just bigger. So there's the shortcut to Yahoo. That's how easy it is to set up a web address as a shortcut. And if you wish to change it at any time, you can right-click and go to Properties, and left-click, and you can make changes there. So you could change the URL, the web address, if you want. Go to General Terms, left-click, and you can change the text there. And back to the Web Document tab, left-click. You can even change the graphic if you'd like. Left-click here, and it gives you a Change Icon box, and you can select the icon you want, but that's not so important. Let's cancel that, left click, and cancel again because I haven't made any changes. So that's how you add a web address shortcut on the desktop. Let's right click again, and if I click New, and again, it's worth noting here, and this is another side issue, depending on where you right click on the screen will determine where the sub menu appears. If I right click here, the menu appears here. And if I click New, the submenu appears over here. The reason is that we've run out of screen space here on the right, so that's why it shows it at the left. But if I right click here and choose New, the menu appears here at the right because that's where it appears by default. So, New Shortcut, left click. This time I'm going to do a shortcut to software, so left click on Browse and it effectively brings up your computer. So you have to navigate to find the software on your computer. This is slightly more advanced, so I'm not going to go into too much detail now, but I will talk you through the process very quickly. If I left click the little plus sign next to my computer, I see all the drives and the other stuff on my computer. 
If I go to the C drive and left click the plus sign, it now shows me all the folders and files in the C drive. As you can see, this is going to be getting a bit advanced into drives and files and folders, so I won't dive into this in depth now, but you can see it just for your own interest if you like. Next, I go into Program Files. Left click on the little plus sign, and it shows me all the folders with software installed. And what I'll do is click here, and go down to Microsoft, and there's the Microsoft Office folder, and left click on the little plus sign again, and there are the subfolders, and left click on the Office subfolder, and now I need to scroll down again, so left click and hold, and again you can see that this is quite advanced, but it may interest you if I quickly show you this. If I choose Excel.exe, left click and OK, and it adds a shortcut to the Excel software. So when you use this method of creating a shortcut, you need to know exactly where the software is on your computer, which folder it's in, and what the file you need is called. OK, next. And what am I going to call it? I can just call it Launch Excel. And finish. And there you go. I'll just left click and drag it over here. So there's another way of adding a shortcut. It's slightly more complicated, as you can see. I recommend at this stage that you don't worry about what I've just shown you, but for adding a shortcut to the desktop, go to the Start menu, go to All Programs, and then just drag it, and that will create a shortcut as I previously demonstrated. Let's left click away from the Start menu so it disappears, and there we go. There's our new shortcut.